This bottle contains concentrated sulfuric acid and the glass contains sugar. Sulfuric acid is the most widely used industrial acid on the planet. Hundreds of millions of tonnes are produced every year. About 60% of the output is used to make fertilisers and it's also used in the production of metals, explosives, synthetic fibres, plastics and much more. The acid in so-called lead acid batteries in our cars is sulfuric acid. Other acids like hydrochloric acid are also widely used in industry. Concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with the sugar and slowly turns it black. After about a minute the reaction starts producing hot jets of steam and a column of black carbon rises up out of the glass. The carbon rises because the chemical reaction produces water in the form of steam. The steam creates bubbles within the carbon that is left behind, so the whole mixture rises up. An acrid, choking gas is also given off that burns your throat if you stand too close. Clearly, you don't want to be spilling concentrated sulfuric acid onto your skin, and it should be treated with extreme caution. Acids chemically react with a lot of different substances, but most don't do this much damage, as they're usually watered down significantly when they're used in manufacturing. This is also sulfuric acid, the same sulfuric acid that we've just seen, but it's been heavily watered down, so much so that even if I touch it, which I shouldn't really do, I can't even tell that it's an acid. However, if I drank it, or if any gets into my eyes, it would still cause a lot of damage. If you ever spill acid on yourself, you should just try to wash it off as quick as you can. If we look at the chemical formulas of some common acids, we can see something that they all have in common. They all have hydrogen atoms. When dissolved in water, some or all of the hydrogen atoms of an acid can separate from the rest of the molecule and chemically react with things. Now, not all substances with hydrogen atoms are acids. Methane and ethanol, just to name two examples, are not acids because the hydrogen atoms don't separate from the rest of the molecule when these two molecules are in water. At a simple level then, an acid is a chemical that has hydrogen atoms that separate fairly easily when the chemical is dissolved in water, and that makes acids fairly reactive. For example, acids chemically react quite readily with a lot of metals. If I pour some hydrochloric acid, which as I said is HCl dissolved in water, into a test tube that has magnesium metal in it, the hydrochloric acid reacts with the magnesium and produces hydrogen gas and magnesium chloride. We can't see the magnesium chloride because it's dissolved in the water, but the bubbles of hydrogen gas are pretty obvious. We can tell that it's hydrogen gas because the gas is flammable. If I collect the gas in an upside down test tube and hold a match next to it, it catches fire and makes a popping noise. The actual flame lasts for only a fraction of a second, but we can see it here in this one frame of the video. Many metals in fact chemically react with hydrochloric acid and other acids. Magnesium, zinc, iron and aluminium for example, though some metals are more reactive than others. However, looking at the chemical equations, there's an obvious similarity in the chemical reactions going on. It turns out that whenever any metal reacts with any acid, hydrogen gas and a type of salt are produced. We normally think of the word salt as meaning table salt, the salt we add to food, sodium chloride, NaCl, but there are actually many different types of salts. In these reactions, the salts produced are all different types of what are called chloride salts. We can't see any of them because they dissolve into the watered down acid. When iron reacts with sulfuric acid, hydrogen gas and iron sulfate are produced. Iron sulfate is a type of salt as well. You can't see it being produced in the reaction because once again it remains dissolved in the watered down sulfuric acid. But the hydrogen gas being produced is obvious. Now just as some metals are more reactive than other metals, some acids are more reactive than other acids. The acid on the left is hydrochloric acid, while the acid on the right is acetic acid, which is the acid in vinegar. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, while the acetic acid in vinegar is a fairly weak acid. You can see that its reaction with magnesium is relatively slow. So, though all acids have things in common, some are strong and some are weak. We'll get into a little more detail in a later episode. Apples contain a weak type of acid called malic acid, while strawberries, oranges and lemons contain citric acid, which is a little stronger. However, the citric acid in lemons is far more concentrated than it is in strawberries and oranges, so lemon juice has a far more sour taste 
and it's more reactive. You can actually use lemon juice to clean a rusted barbecue plate because the citric acid reacts with the rust and dissolves it. But this isn't just a barbecue hack. Acid on metal reactions are really important in industry. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Liakos Educational Media's Shedding Light on Acids and Bases, Episode 1, Acids in Industry. This series makes it easy for students to learn all the basics, pardon the pun, of acids and bases. Students will come away with a deep understanding of what acids and bases are, and they will learn about how much acids and bases affect their lives. Visit our website, links in the description below, to download the accompanying student activity sheet and, in fact, all of our student activity sheets, including a wide selection of pracs. Our website also has details about how you can watch the whole program and the whole series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.